Hello and welcome to another Sleepy Dog video. This is going to be a series of four videos showing you how to install an asphaltic concrete transition. The worker backs the lime slurry truck up and gets it ready to unload. Watch the worker when he opens the valve. This could have been a very dangerous situation. The lime slurry is very hot and could have caused severe burns. The first step in installing an asphaltic concrete transition begins with a good subgrade. The subgrade will consist of 33 pounds of lime per square yard. The lime is very hot as you can see the steam rising from it. I don't know why this worker insists on walking in front of my camera. He does it all the time. The truck driver moves the truck back and forth to empty out the trailer. Watch what happens when the worker goes close to the valve in the back of the trailer. This could have resulted in serious bodily injury or death. This is how lime slurry looks after being unloaded. Let me show you up close. This is a Bobcat 299, also known as a skid steer. It will spread the lime slurry around while we wait for the mixer to arrive. This is a Cat RM 300 mixer. The operator will set the depth to be mixed at 9 inches. Let me move behind the mixer so you can get a better idea of how the mixer works. See how the lime slurry has been mixed with the soil? Here's a view from the side. You can see how the subgrade looks now. The operator will continue to go back and forth until all the area has been mixed. Once the lime has been mixed, the next step is to compact it and seal it. I know you're wondering why it has to be sealed when it has to be remixed. The answer is, if it rains on the unsealed subgrade, it will turn to mud. Once it is sealed, the water cannot penetrate it. Here is the subgraded after it has been compacted and sealed. 
The next step is to remix compact to 95% dry density. Then the monolithic curb will be placed, which will be in part two of the series. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and like the video. Have a great day.